I have a lot to say about this, and it's not going to be nice. Welcome back. You are not going to believe how crazy this is. And you just wait a minute for me to get into the story. I wanted to just talk to you about pencil prices this week. There's nothing special going on. In fact, if this isn't the most insane thing, the Prismacolors that was $65 last week, and I think they even went lower than that. I got them at 65 Some people said they got them lower than that. A hundred and fifty-three forty-three. Are they serious? Now, before anybody goes and, and starts into the panic that you're not going to be able to get an, another cheap Prisma set, I think this is going to be a ploy, and it's like a game. Last week, it was like a game. The prices went down, 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 up slightly, down, down, down. Everybody was in a frenzy. People were buying their Prismacolor sets. They didn't know what price point to stop at. It was like playing the stock market. This week, they're up, up, up. Now, everybody's going to panic. Everybody's going to go, oh, my God. You watch my words here. The price is going to drop again. And it's going to drop low. So everybody that's doing the panic now, it's just like the stock market. Everybody's going to go into a panic now. Ride it out. Okay? Prismacolor is not going anywhere. You can wait another week or two. I'm watching it. My friend Christopher Michaels is watching it. I don't think there's going to be five minutes that these pencils aren't going to be watched. We will get word to you when the prices are going back down. So just don't panic. But I will let you in on something. I think last week everybody was running the sale because the Prismacolors were so low. But Starjoy did not run sales. Andy didn't run a sale. I, I should have told him and I didn't. And I was just really busy. And he's going to run a sale on the Deli Pencils this week on Friday. Now, he told me he was going to run only a seven-hour sale which I think that's ridiculous because half my subscribers are not in the same time zone. So I didn't even know what time zone he gave me the times. I didn't even know what time that was really going to be. So I'm trying to talk him into doing a weekend sale and that will give everybody who's wanted deli pencils a chance to get them at a really good price. I will get back to you before he runs the sale. Even if I have to do a spur of the moment, five minute video, I will get you those prices. And then I checked all my other links. They're basically running the same. I leave them all in the description box. Careful of Marquardt. They're still at 16 and they're holding steady. I have a feeling that once they run out, that those prices are going to go up. So if you did not get a Marquardt set, which are Naomi pencil, get them now because I just have a feeling that they're not going to be at that price. Wait until you guys hear this story I'm about to tell you. It's nuts. It's completely nuts. Now, I have some swatch sheets here. I bought Ram Refine pencils. And last week I said I'm not doing a full review on them. I, I had just gotten them in. And at first glance, they seemed like they were okay pencils. When I looked at the uh, color swatches, their color, you can see it here. The names of the colors sound really familiar to me. Like I like I have seen this palette of, of pencils before. And I was like, I couldn't get it in my head where. When I was talking about this, I asked everybody, where did you see or do you have these pencils that are not Ram Refined? And of course, Melody Trotter, who is my little angel, she piped up and some other people piped up. And everybody was like, those are Norberg and Linden pencils. It's their 72 set, but they're in Ram Refined box. Now, when I looked at the pencils, I really didn't put two and two together. I was not looking for a black barrel set. I was looking for a solid two metallic band set. And I was checking all my sets, and that's a lot of sets. So I was looking for these, and I didn't find them. 
It was one of the pencil sets I did not have. But because the pencils did not look alike, I wanted to make sure that these pencils and the Norberg Linden pencils were either the same or not the same. I wanted to see how they performed. So I went out, of course, and I bought this set, which is their XXL125 with 120 pencils. I compared the pencil. They did not act alike. They did not look alike. This pencil set did not react the same as this. I'm going to be honest about the Ram Refined. I found their colors to be very vivid. They're a pretty set looking set. They come in a nice tin, but I'm going to be honest. They are dusty, very dusty. I didn't even know where the dust was coming from, but all over my paper, and I'm good about keeping my papers clean when I try, all over the place, my papers were a mess. Then when I finally finished swatching and I was able to step back and take a look at the set, wow, there were a lot of colors that were the same. I'm sorry, but there wasn't enough. Look at mauve and look at lilac. Look at deep green and green and hunter green. These pencils are practically identical. Now, I've been working with Andy from Starjoy and helping him choose pencils for his next set. And let me tell you, I have spent weeks swatching and going over the pencil cores, which are pretty cool. Here are the cores. Okay, not these cores, these are Andy's cores, but I will tell you that within these pencils, and there's a lot of them, this is just up to 116, this is 132 through 169, and I have more of these. This is how many pencil swatches that I've been going through with his. This is a lazy picker, I'm sorry. Available in the Chinese market, are approximately 500 different colors. Every company that you get your cores from has a different amount. Some of the colors are scratchy in the sets, but you can pick your colors or they have a picked out set, okay, that you can get cheaper. This, whoever picked out the colors for this set did a lousy job because if you look at emerald green and you look at bright green, there's barely a difference. And I've seen these colors in the cores that I was given, the, the color choices. They did not have to have this. There are plenty of greens to pick from, and they could have made this set really nice. I was disappointed. Ballet slipper and salmon. When I was finished going through this set, the colors were so similar to each other that they just picked out the first couple of reds. They picked out a couple of oranges. Nobody went through these colors that they would have skipping of values. So this makes this practically worthless. And while I like the colors that they chose, they very pretty colors, combine that with the dust, buying the same colors over and over again. This is not a 72 set, but it's gonna get crazier. Everybody said the Ram Refine was the Norberg and Linden. So I swatched out the Norberg and Linden. And I found a lot of their colors were very close to the Ram Refined. The 72 set matched completely. The 120 set was a little bit different. Where did I see this? Something like was bothering me. And that's when I started reading some of the comments made in the Amazon for the Norberg and Linden 120 set. And the biggest complaint was they were, get this, Crayot 120. So Ram Refine copied Norberg and Linden, and then Norberg and Linden copied Crayot. Now, I wasn't sure, like, Norberg and, Norberg and Linden specialize in art supplies. I couldn't believe that a company that was enjoying such a good reputation would go out and copy Crayot which is really bottom line um, colored pencils. They're 120 set, and it never really goes up above $25. It's below, it's like think now $24. Never goes up very high, it kind of rides the wave. Who came first? Well, Crayot came first. This set has been around since 2019. The 120 Norberg and Linden set has been around since last November. Uh, 2020. So without a doubt, Cray Art is the top dog of this palette. 
Now, let's put Ram Refined on the side because we know that they're copycatting and they got the same pigments. They're not the same cores. Now, I wanted to see what was going on between Norberg and Crayon. Is it true? Because people, you know, sometimes these colors are very similar. So you look at a set and you're like, oh, I have some of these colors, but you really don't. And you can't tell until you line them up. So what did I do? I lined them up. And on the outside, okay, so you can see this. On the outside is Norberg and Linden. On the inside, the inside square is Crayot. As you can see, these are identical pencils. If you look at the pencils, here's spring green. If you look at the crayon, that's apple green. Let's find spring green. Spring green. We've got identical pencils. You know what's different? Maybe a shade off on the outside paint. That is it. They were made two different lots. And the pencils are identical, as you could see, spring green and spring green. They're the same pencils. So, like last week, I said, if something looks like a duck and fucks like a duck, it's a duck. Okay. But it gets worse. It, the story is going to get, it, like, almost borderline funny. So now we know that we had, are dealing with two sets of identical pencils. One I paid $34 for. The other one I paid $24 for. Well, that's what you get when you you don't know. Now you guys know identical sets, performance. Um, now for a quick, did I like these pencils? They were okay. I don't particularly love the lay down. They're cheap pencils. They're bottom barrel pencils. Could I color with them? Yeah, I could make a nice picture out of them. Would I enjoy it that much? Not really. If you look at the lay down on the pencils themselves, it's not great. My other pencils that I have, my Star Joys, my Delis, my Mark Arts, which were all the same price and cheaper, do a much nicer lay down. Art and Fly was very good. My Marcus, um, Marco Renoir's, which are a little bit more money, but close to the point where I would say that those pencils were really worth the price. I wish they came individually. It's probably the only thing that I can say about the Renoirs that are negative is you can't get more um, without buying the set. I, I actually went out and bought two sets of them. So there are better pencils for the price, especially $34 for them. It gets better. I promise you it will get better. Now, before I went and did a you know, a negative video. I wanted to give the companies every chance that they could to explain the, why are two pencil sets the same. It's not fair to the public. Do something that's different, a different palette. You could pick from 500 colors. Can't you do that? Crayon is crayon. It's a cheap set. Am I going to complain about crayon? No, because now it's going to get weird. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about showing email. And I kind of don't want to do this. I had a conversation with Christopher Michael tonight. He said that I should show the emails because they were that funny. I'm going to tell you about them. And if you really want to see them, I'll show them to you. I may put them up and take out the some of the personalized who said what to where. But I wrote to this company. And I got a very nice reply back from them. And I, I said to them, I'm Lori Green. I am the channel owner for Color My World. Here is my URL. So they knew exactly, I wasn't tricking them into talking to me or telling me anything. They knew exactly who I was. I said, I do reviews. And I purchased this to do a review. So everything is on the up and up. And I wanted to know a couple things. Because what I had noticed, and I will put it up on the screen, there's a missing... 120 logo over here that the box on the Amazon has. Not only that, but every Norberg and Linden pencil that I saw in the advertisements and in people's reviews, take a look at these pencils. What's missing on these pencils? 
Nice clean black. No logo on the pencil. And that's really weird when every single pencil and your advertisement has it. Suddenly, the box that I get sent doesn't have these things. Now, what did I teach you guys to look for in fake pencils? Things that are missing on the box and on the pencils. People who fake pencils never get it right. There's always something that's different. So I wrote to them and I said, listen, this is what's going on. I got their contact information off their website. I didn't go through them. I said, listen, this is what I got. And I sent them a picture of it. And I said, the box is missing these things. And the reviews are saying that these are crayon pencils. Could you guys be getting spoof? Is somebody on Amazon selling your pencils? I didn't know anything about this company except that they distribute art supplies. Could they be selling fake pencils? They may have gotten your permission to do, to do this. And you're not knowing that they're putting in to the mix because that could happen too is I get say I'm selling pencils Prismacolor and I have the Prismacolor name and I'm selling them but all of a sudden I start putting in fake Prismas in with the real stuff how would Prismacolor know they wouldn't so I could be buying half real half fake could have been something like that you never know trust nobody also the box after three days, split down the side. I really do need a bigger workspace. Look what it did. I only had it for three days. So this box is no good. And everybody is complimenting how nice the boxes are. Well, if I didn't know anything to co compare it to, how do I know that this is the real Norberg and Linden box? So now we have these pencils that are identical to Crayot. And I write to the company and I get a very nice reply. This is where it gets unbelievable. I had written from their website and I guess their internal stuff, they could forward. Well, I don't know who my customer service person is and I'm not going to show you guys because it may be the owner. I don't know who the owner is, but it could be a just a customer service guy. I don't know. But it seems that my letter then got passed down and they didn't forward. They copied. Whoever this guy was talking to, it wasn't me. The customer service rep writes to whoever this third person was he was forwarding this to. Should I respond with the standard message? What? I got my ears perked out. What's the standard message? Should he reply to me with the standard message? I don't think a refund will matter much because she, that's when I knew he was not talking to me, but about me, because I was a she, is trying to review a product. Would it be okay to send another set? Okay, that would be nice if they wanted to replace this. Not that Amazon wouldn't, because um, absolutely Amazon protects every customer that goes on there. So I was protected by Amazon. But now it got me intrigued because... I mean, this guy wasn't meaning harm or but it got worse. Now, I've identified who I am. They got right on it. We have created a removal order for the XXL colored pencil set at Amazon. So the ad should have been down, okay? And I fixed the issue at our warehouse. Then he went on to tell me about how there was a quality control issue and yada, yada, yada. That excuse, well, you know, uh, we've been selling these pencils for a long time. We just shipped it over from our warehouse. Things like that happened. Okay. They didn't check every case that went out. But at the time, this was a brand new set. Okay. Their 72 set was enjoying good sales and everything was good. Everybody was expecting this to be the 72 plus more, but it was not. The colors didn't even match, by the way. So we've been working to clear up the issue all year long. November, December, January, February, March. That's five months. Okay, approximately five months that they've been selling these pencils. So all year round means, oh, they've been selling these pencils and this one shipment. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I'm calling bullshit on this. Please let us know like, if we can do anything to assist or ensure you are satisfied with your purchase. I'm not satisfied at all. I'm satisfied because I'm returning this set. But he's still being nice. He's a pleasant guy. Listen, I jumped on Andy when I first met him. And I regretted that 
really badly. That's why I'm trying to be really nice to this guy because you don't know who's on the other end and they could be another Andy. After going back and forth for about eight, nine emails, he did admit that this set was really not up to the quality standards that he would have liked to have seen his company put out. In other words, this pencil is cheap crap. It's also identical to the Crayart, which is the identical set. So let's just establish that this is not a real quality set and it's slightly overpriced for what you are getting. Now, you're getting a lot of colors, and I will admit that is true. You're getting a lot of colors, but are those colors worth the money that you're paying to have a lot of colors? And my personal opinion is not really, but it's going to change a little bit. Now we're going to get to the next set, because it didn't end with <laughs> Norberg and Linden. During the same time in November... I purchased the Brett Funner 180 set and it was weird because my pencils were different than one week later their 180 set. And this was the set of Brett Funner pencils that I had purchased. I don't hate Brett Funner. They're not horrible pencils. They're just like the same as the rest. Low budget. I mean, out of, a, out of 10, I give it a 5 and I'll sit with it at five and I kind of use Brett Funner as like if the pencil set is better than Brett Funner it's good so it doesn't have a great lay down but it doesn't have a horrible lay down either I can color with this it's not horrible I was pretty happy in having this set because what it did was provide filler colors now I like the lay down for these pencils Better than I like the black ba the black barrel. So I was kind of happy that I got this one instead of another black barrel set. But Brett Fudder changed it. And guess what they came out with? The identical set as all the others. So now you have at least four that are the same. Now, should you not own these sets? Should you avoid buying this? Well, you really only need one. Really, one. And... Out of all of these, since they are the same, the 180 set gives you gives you 60 more pencils for under $10 more. 60 different colors. Unless you can really see your tonal values, you can't just pick these pencils up and expect 180 different colors. They basically got four or five of the same colors mixed into that 180 set that really don't matter much in the end of what your picture is going to look like because you're going to be blending them and they're the same. So it's not really 180 colors. Do you need the 180 color set? No, especially it can hinder you at the beginning. If you can get a set that has between 72 and 120 good pencils, it is so much better to have a smaller quantity, but a better quality when it comes to pencils you will be able to see the difference in your art the enjoyability of laying down the pencil is so much better with a higher quality pencil and higher quality pencils do, do not mean bigger budgets you can find these these sets but you have to be a little discerning now i'm going to put the norberg and lindberg brett Funner, ram refine and crayon all as the same now, Ram Refine is a little bit different because they actually put a different barrel on it, but it's the same colors. It looks like a duck, acts like a duck, but isn't the same duck, okay? Nobody's having sex with the duck. So, the Norberg and Linden set, the Crayart set, and the Brett Funner set are all the same pencil. And if you go onto Alibaba and you look, you will find this set with a big sticker on it that says, Hot Amazon Sale. Same colors, same pencils, same black barrel. Due to the fact that they're using the same manufacturers, these pencil companies are all coming out with the same thing. And, and remember in my China video, we talked about white label sets. These are the white label sets. You buy the set, you put your own label on it, and you sell it as if it is... A brand new, gotta have it set. 
in the meantime, you've already got two sets that are identical. Is this fair to the consumer? Absolutely not. So while I sound like I'm really ragging on these smaller pencil companies, you get what you put out there. A lot of people just don't know. They give these raving Amazon reviews. A lot of people just don't know. At first glance, the pencils look great. But if you're not comparing to pencils that were really good, you could be fooled. These sets are good for kids. I would buy birthday gift for a seven-year-old. Lots of pencils. Don't matter if they end up under the couch. I would use these sets for teaching elementary school. Once you get past that, if a kid is actually learning art, I would never give this set to somebody who's actually trying to learn art. For the same price, for the same amount of money, go out and buy one of the better quality sets. It's my job to test these pencils. Are these pencils something that you need to return? No, not really. I'm returning them because I already own Cray Art. And Cray Art was fine. I have a Cray Art, I have the Cray Art 120 set. I even have a Cray Art 48 set. And that's what this is about, me helping you to make better choices. So with that, I'm going to bring up one last subject on it. All four of these sets from Brut Funner, Norberg & Linden, Crayot, and Ram Refine, they are all water-soluble, every one of them. Two of them actually state that they are water-soluble. Two of them do not. If a pencil is water-soluble... You have to be careful about using mixed media and you have to be careful of spraying. Unfortunately, one of the problems is, is spraying gives you a UV protection, which makes your picture last longer. And that's why I like to spray my artwork. If you spray your work, you may lose some of the details because the colors are going to start to flow like watercolor. Water solubility does not make it a watercolor pencil. Watercolor pencils dissolve completely, go into the paper and set. These are water-soluble, which means that their binders will just dis basically disintegrate in water. Is this a terrible thing, especially for new artists? Now, now think about this. Is this an awful thing? No, it's not. Because we use blending pencils. We use blending pencils. We use blending markers. We use solubility, uh, things that um, create the solubility. And you can use the fact that these pencils are water soluble to your advantage by adding a slight bit of water once the color is built up to completely smooth out and blend. You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful and you have to really use a small brush to make sure that the colors are not going and flowing into things that you don't want it to flow into because it's not a watercolor, an oil pencil that's going to break down. So you can use it for your advantage. So with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.